What's up, folks? This is G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries. Man, I'm rolling listening to this J. Bryan, this Christian rap uh, music that we all made at the church. Great music. Um, and people that are confused about us releasing a rap CD, I would definitely suggest that you watch our videos. Um, people have the wrong idea of what it is that we preach against. We don't preach against music styles, okay? Um, I would be hypocritical if I taught against styles of music. I don't like traditional gospel. I don't like Mahalia Jackson. I don't like no James Cleveland. I don't like quartet music either. That's not my style. But somebody sitting next to me might, or somebody that I know might. I can't tell them that it's God's music or that it's sin. Uh, people try to say that, well, God only likes worship. Well, worship is a style of music that was considered back 30, 40 years ago, worldly music. Worship is a derivative of the slow jam. And the slow jams back in the day using certain musical uh, instruments or instrumentations were banned from the church. And people said that Andre Crouch and people like that were too contemporary for the church. Now their music is traditional. So <laughs> for us to say the blood uh, that washed away our sins, that song, back in the day it was banned from the church. It was considered contemporary. Now we consider it traditional. That's the evolution of music styles. So rap music is a style of music. What I've preached against for the last 20 years, what we have done at EX Ministries has always been against hip hop. The religion, the subculture, the ideology that makes self God, that tells man he can make his own rules, that is portrayed through rap. Hip hop used rap, but rap was here way before hip hop was ever created or even thought of. So what we're doing is we're releasing some good godly music where a guy is rapping, but he's rapping about Christ and not himself. He's telling the truth. Uh, it's a way of ministry. It's rhythm and poetry. That's all it is. So for people that are saying, oh, it's the great falling away. G. Craig done fell away. Y'all have not listened to what it is that I've preached for the last 20 years. In my very first video, I stated that I wasn't talking about a style. In our first, very first documentary, What Every Church Needs to Know About Hip Hop, I had a whole five-minute segment going down the line of what was traditional and contemporary and what music styles were all about. Uh, me and T. Tom Moffat of EX Ministries have sat down countless times to talk about uh, the difference between Christian rap or the difference between rap and hip hop and why we don't support Christian holy hip hop or Christian hip hop, anything with hip hop in it. So those that are confused or that are saying that we've changed or whatever, I'm sorry, but you have been misinformed and you have not listened. You have not listened to what we've preached. You're following rumors or whatever somebody told you, whatever they told you, but you haven't taken the time to really, really listen. So I would encourage you to go to our website, go to our music page. There's interviews there with me, Jay Bryan. We're explaining it, talking about it. Um, you can get a better understanding before you comment and throw out all the years of teaching and the body of work because we're doing a music style that you don't like. And I would say that most of the music you do like is created by <laughs> homosexuals People bound in sexual sin, perverted folks, and yet you're saying that's God's music. Uh, I'm sorry, but that is very inconsistent. So let's stop trying to give God a style and say what we think God likes. God don't have an iPod. He don't have an iPhone. He don't have iTunes. So he, he ain't listening to none of that. If we sing melody, make music in our hearts and make melodies unto him, and we offer it to him as a sacrifice of praise, then he enjoys being worshiped and glorified through our music styles. But music styles aren't sinful. I just wanted to let you know that. Signing off, please watch the content. Teton is gonna upload all, a lot of the old uh, things that we've done down through the years to show you that we've always made this difference between rap and hip hop. So please remember, rap, is what you do hip hop is who you are 
Later.